Honeywell's latest explosion protected PTZ network camera is a good fit for onshore, offshore, marine, and heavy industrial installations in hazardous and challenging environments. The camera features a 316 liter stainless steel housing, certified for hazardous areas according to ATEX and IECEX and UL. The housing prevents any interior sparks or explosions from escaping and igniting the gases or dust in the surrounding air. The cameras provide extremely crisp video with up to 2 million effective pixels, 30x optical zoom, and true day and night WDR for continuous surveillance in both hazardous and safe area applications. The camera can be configured to automatically detect and respond to events such as motion in the scene, alarm inputs, network failure, and camera tampering. Automated responses include sending a notification through email, FTP, and HTTP, and sending a still image of the event through email and FTP. Setup can be done through a web client. This video shows how to configure Honeywell's explosion proof camera when the user unboxes it. Once the camera is unboxed, please connect 230 volts AC into input and connect network cable to local area network switch. Please note that this camera only works with 230 single phase AC input. Once the user connects the power, and network to the explosion proof PTZ camera, it will be initialized automatically and ready for the configuration, as you can see on my screen. Let's go to the computer and then run Honeywell's IPC tool to find the connected camera in the network. If you want to download the IPC tool, please contact us. Allow access to run the application. Once the application started, it detected all the cameras in the network. As you can see on my screen I have one explosion proof camera in the network, which was detected by the IPC tool. Let me change the IP address of my computer, and make it in the same network as per my camera IP. Once both devices are in the same network, open the Internet Explorer and type the camera IP address. For the first time login into the explosion proof PTZ camera, user has to set the password. Please use the username as admin. Then enter the password, and confirm the password, then click on save to continue. Once the password has been set to the camera, close this window and open the Google Chrome browser. Then type the camera IP address and log in into the camera using new login credentials. Once the camera is logged in, the user will have the live view in the browser, as you can see on my screen. The user can configure all the parameters from the web interface as well as users can control the PTZ from the web interface. For example, let me show you how we can control camera wiper from the web interface. For more PTC control options, click on the arrow, and then click on PTZ. You will have all the control options here. As you can see we are able to control explosion proof PTZ camera. I hope you understand how to configure the new explosion proof PTZ camera from Honeywell. In the next video, we will see how to add this explosion proof camera into Honeywell and VR and VMS. If you're looking for any technical support, please join our membership for instant support. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.